Okay, I'm out here on the trail. It is um, it's probably about 40 some degrees out, uh, but uh, I'm out here this morning to test out my new Warachis. Check out these new running feet. It's basically a um, just a piece of rubber with uh, a single leather strap you just kind of wrap around your foot and tie it to yourself but the idea I like uh, I'm liking it so far um, better than the Vibrams uh, five fingers uh, in fact I wore these yesterday when I was doing medical duty out at a, an adventure race and um, I got the opportunity to put in a few miles out there of running over some really rocky terrain these weren't bad um, in fact they didn't um, get as much sand and dirt underneath my foot as I thought they would so that's nice but um, they're, they work really well what I like about them more than the Vibrams is that um, in my Vibrams I would always tear the fabric in between my toes for some reason I hadn't have, haven't had a single pair that's lasted over a hundred miles uh, intact uh, between my toes um, so Leads me to say, well, you know, the Vibrams still aren't quite allowing my foot to act as naturally as possible. It's still something that's kind of encasing my foot and, and holding it in as natural a way as possible for a shoe, right? But um, still not quite fully natural. Um, so with these, uh, the idea is your foot is basically just has some rubber underneath it and should be able to act uh, as naturally as possible um, without actually being 100% barefoot. I just have a little piece of protection there on the bottom for some of that really rocky, nasty stuff. So, I'm out here today, going to give them a run and uh, see how they work out for me in a bit of a longer uh, trail. So, I'll give you a report. Okay, I just finished putting in about five miles out here on the trails. Um, nothing too serious. It's a nice, good incline. It's um, because I wanted to run down and see how they felt, you know, on a fast, speedy um, uh, descent. Um, a couple things I noticed about the um, Luna sandals, the Leadville here, is that on um, Vibrams, especially my KSO tracks, so there's a lot more teeth actually really big teeth in the tread here and what that did is especially on inclines it gave me a lot more grip obviously you can see on these there's not much grip going on here just very basic minimal tread and um, what that forces me to do is as I'm going uphill I'm having to actually curl my foot more to kind of get it, curl my toes a bit more to get that grip that the that the the uh, Vibram tread otherwise gave me. So again, this sandal is um, the sandal, the shoe. The sandal is allowing me uh, my foot to actively participate in the run more, um, act more naturally, and allow my body and my feet to work a little bit more in unison with the ground rather than allowing the the, uh, the tread or the shoe or whatever platform I'm wearing to do some of that work. So again, uh, the reason I like these more than the Vibrams is my foot is actively uh, is more active in the run than even the Vibrams, which is still considered one of the uh, best minimal shoes out there. Well, it's still a shoe in that sense and still doing some of that work for you. So that's why I really like these um, these sandals. Now, um, if you've seen, I've seen some of the um, the Tarumara Indians um, kind of where these the Urachis kind of came into fame a little bit as far as running goes. They actually have their sandal not come all the way around. It's actually cut short, and their toe will hang off the sandal a bit. And what that does is allows that foot or those toes to curl even that much more. So that's something I'm going to keep in mind. Um, nothing I'm going to do right now, obviously. Uh, I still want to put some more time into the, with these, but uh, that's something to keep in mind for later. Um, one of the things also is um, it's very loose um, as far as just the feel. Sometimes I feel like uh, 
I was going to lose the shoe. And that's kind of when I was thinking about the shoe, trying to sense, hey, how does this feel to me? Um, my mind was actively kind of concentrating on the shoe a little bit. And, um, but once I sort of just focused on the run, my environment, and my terrain sort of just uh, um, zoned out a bit, I guess, I didn't even really feel I had the shoe on at all. So that I really liked too. It didn't have any of that kind of constriction. My feet were able to breathe. It was airy. Um, uh, a couple of things. Um, this here. Um, I thought this strap, um, actually when I first put these on, this was kind of annoying. Um, I'm not sure um, if there's any better way to kind of pad that and stuff, but this is a bit annoying. I feel through time as I kind of get accustomed to having this here, um, it'll be more comfortable. Kind of like with Vibrams, you know, um, you wear those and you got the, those toes on those individual pockets. That feels kind of weird um, at first and you get, eventually get used to it. I figure with these it'll be the same thing. Um, what other things can I note? Um, ah, yes. I've noticed too, I was kind of playing around with my stepping and my gait a little bit out there to kind of uh, get a better feel for these in a, in a number of different ways. And I noticed the poorer your form is, the poorer your, your, your foot pattern, your stepping, the more crap you're going to get in between the feet here coming up and, the, and all this jazz. But the more you more accurately just lift the foot and put it down the less you're going to get in there so that's something to kind of keep in mind too is uh, as you're running you you notice you're kind of getting tired and your form starting to crap out when you start getting more stuff in your shoe um, it comes out pretty quickly but it's a nice way to uh, kind of wake yourself up as far as the form goes um, but uh, yeah, normally if you with your good good barefoot form or good forefoot form, the straight up and down motion, you're not going to get really anything inside these shoes. Um, so that's sort of my day one field report, put in like a light five miles here. And um, I'm liking these a lot better than the Vibrams simply because my feet are more active than I run. The, my, uh, the, the platform that I'm wearing, the Urachis, um, are allowing my feet to... Uh, kind of do things more naturally, whereas the Vibram still was a crutch. Um, with the tread, um, the hugging of the toes, the lack of uh, uh, some of that support structure. So another thing I want to point out um, that initially concerned me about the Warachis is the thickness of the sole. Take a look here. That's actually 10 millimeters of Vibram sole here. And my concern was that the, um, the thickness I uh, would lose my sensitivity, and that seemed to kind of defeat the purpose of actually going with a, a minimal, you know, something like the sandal, you know, really going minimal as far as footwear. Um, but I was speaking with Barefoot Ted, who makes these, and he assured me that the the sole was, uh, the thickness of the sole was more for protection and didn't cut down on the sensitivity at all um, due to it being neoprene. Um, I don't know, when I was talking on the phone, it kind of made sense, whatever, it, I wasn't quite sure about that, and so... Um, when I got them and I've been out here running, it does offer the degree of protection, um, but being the neoprene, it's very cushy. And it's very, uh, uh, it's a cushy sole, so the, the sensitivity still translates through and you're still able to feel that ground. You're just a little bit better protected and more of the harsher terrain, um, like these were initially designed for, the Leadville 100. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the, my concern was on the thickness of that sole, but, uh, Ted sort of said some stuff that made so much sense I didn't quite understand it until I got it out here and was running. I was actually able to feel the ground, the rocks, the pebbles, everything like that, the proprioception, um, but uh, still have that uh, the protection of uh, that base layer there of the, uh, the neoprene. So uh, that's why I'm really liking the um, Luna sandals, the uh, Leadville 100, the Urachis here. So there you have it.